Carlos is back with us today. Yeah. Can you look look at it? Hello, Carlos. Look at this good boy. Look at the good boy. So what's wrong? Hey guys, welcome to Taz Tour Review with John and Carlos. Yep. Hey guys, welcome to Taz Tour Review with John and Carlos. And it's Advent calendar season again, and we have an Advent calendar to open up for you today. Yes, we do. But before we get into that, if you guys are new here, go ahead and click on that upside down robot or the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. We greatly appreciate it. Yes, we do. So what calendar are we opening up today? We have an amazing calendar. It's the Harry Potter Lego Advent Calendar. Yes, it is. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Go Slytherin. And we love Legos here at Taz Tour Review. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in, open this up, show you what each of the little days has inside, build everything. Have a lot of fun. Of course. So, and play. And play. Mm -hmm. So let's get going. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are all zoomed in. We're here with the Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar Lego Set 75981. We have 24 gifts to open up. Yes, and we are so excited. I want this little Yule Ball. That better be in there. The invitation? Yes, because it's so, like, iconic. So this actually opens up from the back. We do have a picture of some of the stuff that's going to be inside. Everyone's got wands at the ready. So we are going to go through each one of these with you guys and show you what's inside. Let's do it. So folding the flap down. Ooh. Ooh. So we have our tree. This part is just a little bit of, oh, I punched through with number three. We'll start with number three. But this part is some like stones and then we have some snow. Looks like someone walked through some snow. And then we have our, our tree and our presents. This is so cool. So since I accidentally punched through number three, I'm actually going to start with number three. Okay. Okay. There yeah. we go. Now, for those that are unfamiliar with the Advent calendars from Lego, the little instructions are right here on the side. So we're going to be building some kind of little boat. Ooh, we love boats. ITT. Check out our pirate ship Lego build. Yes, it's in the <laughs> link below. Right, so everything is going to come in these little clear packages, and I think that's really cool. So let's build it. So here is the little boat we just built. It looks so cool. Not really getting the Harry Potter reference from it, but I like it. It's very cute. It is very cute. So most of these pieces, aside from maybe the actual like minifigures, will have extra pieces. So make sure you don't lose those. You can always add them to your set or use them for other sets or save them in giant buckets like we do. But yes, there are some extra pieces just in case you lose some. So keep that in mind. Very cool. I'm going to set this right here and let John go with the original number one. The original number... The original number one. Yeah. Ooh. Of course, he gets the one that I wanted. There we go. See that? That's, uh... I believe this is, uh... Harry Potter or Perry Hodder, whatever his yep. name is. Harry Potter. Okay, ooh. Here we have Harry Potter... And his little invitation to the Yule Ball. So cool. It's very cool. And here we have a little candle, a little table with a candle on it. So cool. Very cool. Yeah. So I'm going to put these here. So number two is right here. What'd you get? Looks like maybe Hogwarts. Ooh, the Hogwarts castle. A little mini Hogwarts. So here is our little Harry Potter miniature castle. This is so cool. I love this. It's really cool. Okay, so we already we already did number three. So number four is next, John. Okay, I got that. I got this, and it looks like we got a little thingy dingy here. It's a carriage. Looks like a carriage. Yes, yeah, so this is from the other school. Oh, so we have a little horsey and carriage. That's so cool. Yeah, looks like it's from the other school. I can't remember the name of the school right now, but it's the school with the all female school with the Romanians. No, that's the. I think that's what the pirate ship is for. It's supposed to be like their boat. And that's the. This is floor school? Yeah, floor or, school. Yep. Something like that? Yep. So that's cool. So, Ted, you're number five. Okay. It's right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up a little bit. It looks like this is gonna be Cho Chan. Here she is. Cho -chan. So cool. Yeah, she's awesome. Cho Hi, Cho Chan. Next up is number six. Okay. It looks like we have a um, little thingy. It's uh, basically what we have here is um, 
I, uh, um, it might be the the goblet that they throw everything in. It's it's a thing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's very cool. Okay, you're number seven, Tad. Okay, number seven is way over here. This is our music player. Can we get that out for me, John? Yeah. It's our music player. So here's our record player, equipped with our little arm that actually goes down. I think that's really cool. Probably enhanced with magic, obviously. Awesome. It's totally cool. All right, number eight, John. Okay, so we have a little table. Let me build that. We have a couch with a potato on it. It's not a potato, it's the golden egg. The golden egg to lay the goose? Yes, the golden okay. egg from the uh, Goblet of Fire Tri Tournament. Tri Wizard Tournament. Oh, Tri Wizard Tournament? Yes. How do you know that? I've seen the movies, I read the books. Oh. Yeah, so we're, number nine is way down there. I'm going to let John grab it. Oh, yeah. Reach her across this way. Ooh. And you have something really cool here. You have a. Bag of pieces. Here's our little table with our cool little glass on top. Little glass of maybe water. Or it might be a flower vase. No, it would have to be more flowery. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. So then I'm going to do number 10. How about that? How about that? Okay. And here we have. Ooh, it's Ron. How do you know it's Ron? How do you know it's not um, the father? Because it's not. Okay, so here's Mr. Weasley, Ron if you're nasty, and he is, um, he's got a wand, which I'm surprised it is not broken. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have John grab number 11 for me. I surely will. And here we have a fireplace. Very cool. So here is the really cool fireplace. I love that the stocking moves. So it's like actually like dangles. It's my favorite part. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Next up is number 12. On the 12th day of Christmas. Let me grab it for you. Am I doing 12? Yes. Ooh. So here we have this wonderful we don't know <laughs> thingy dingy and it's very cute it's very it's very cute we like it so much yep we don't know what it is we'll find out 13 13 is next 13 is way up here i'll get it for you thank you oh that's a tree oh our first tree our first tree so here's the christmas tree it is a super duper cute like the star on top. It's awesome. It is awesome. Okay. All right. Um, what was that, number 13? I got number 14. I'll do number 14. It's another... Another thingy. Random sleigh thingy. Here we go. Here's the... It looks... To me, it looks like a window. There is a chocolate frog. I don't know if you can see that. There is a chocolate frog back there. Oop. There is a chocolate frog. So we'll find out what they are. Eventually. Yeah. So number 15 is next. It's right here. Looks like we have another character. This is either... Uh, this is one of the twins. I don't remember their names. Here she is all built. If you guys know her name, definitely link that in the comment. But she is one of the twins that Harry goes to the Yule Ball with. Cool. Okay. So number 16 is next. Putting this down here, and it is another tree. It's like a smaller one this time. Smaller tree. It actually built two Christmas trees. Those are super cute. They're so cool. Seventeen's over there. So seventeen is next, and it's way over there on the left side. 
Ooh, you get the good one. The piano. The piano. The piano. I also built the piano in our Lego haunted house. If you guys have not seen that, definitely check out that. I will link that as well. Link to it below. Yep. Here is the little piano. Are you, this, get, are you? Oh my goodness! I love that piano. This is super cute. It's so realistic. I love that it has a little spot to hold like your music. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Okay. Yeah. So next is number eighteen. Is up top. Okay. Oh, and this mm. is a um, some kind of ice sculpture thingy. So here's this little ice sculpture thing. I believe it's backwards. I think it goes this way. So cool. I love it. Too much? And you would say too much is never We're a good old 19. 19 is a lucky number. Come on, 19. Ooh, it's the other twin. Ooh, yay. So here's so here's the um here's the twin sister that Harry went to the, the ball with. And he went to they, he went with one of them. What I think is really cool is they're opposites. They're opposites. So she's got pink and orange and then the orange down here, and she's got the orange and pink and then the orange down there. They're saris, too. Have you noticed yeah. that? That's really cool. Very, very cool. I love them. Oh, thank you. All right, so next is number 20. We're getting close to uh, right Christmas Eve. We are getting close. This is exciting. I know. This is another ice sculpture. Ooh. So here is the other part of our little ice sculpture. It looks like it's going to connect to the one we built previously. I think that's super cool. Get that for you. Are we doing that now? Yep. Yeah. We're going to combine forces. Ooh, look. <gasps> I think this is like supposed to be little cups of juice. That's so cool. It's and point, really cool. And don't forget the poinsettias. We think that's what they are. Oh, what else are they? We don't know. Okay. But I love this. Okay. It's really cool. So we are at 21. Yes, we are. Love 20. 21 is a good number. 21 is right there. Come on, lucky 21. We Ooh. have we have uh, Mike and Stan for music. So every good party has a singer who plays music. So we have a... Singers play music? Singers sing music. <laughs> and essentially they're players. They're artists. Recording artists. So we've got a mic and a music stand. Very cool. So number 22 is next, right here. Come on, lucky 22. Ooh, it's Hermione. How do you know it's Hermione? Hermione Granger. I know her outfit. She's pretty in pink. Here is Hermione. Hermione Granger in the house, everyone. Her she's, little outfit. She's the top of her class. She's the top of her class. So cute. Love that outfit. Okay, looks like 23 is next. 23 is right here. Come on, lucky 23. Ooh, Ooh presents. Presents. So here's the broom wrapped in, here's, here's the broom wrapped in Gryffindor colors. And then here are three presents wrapped in Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. I love these. I love them too much. They're so cool. <laughs> and, uh, and Tad, now you have uh, Christmas Eve, 24. Ooh, number 24, it's right here. The last one, guys. The fireplace is in the way. Ooh, this is some kind of Slytherin from some other. So ending off the calendar, we have this really cool Slytherin house snake thing. It looks like a chalice at first, but it might be part of the bathroom when they open the Chamber of Secrets. I'm not really sure. It could be just a decoration from the Yuletide Ball, which is kind of what all this is themed around. Yeah. But either way, I love it. As you guys know, as I mentioned, Slytherin all the way. Very, very cool. And you're wearing a Slytherin t-shirt right now. I am. All right, guys. Here's everything that we opened and built today with this advent calendar. I don't know about John, but I love it. I love it too much. I do. So real quick, John, what is your favorite piece? The um, broomstick with Rivendor colors. I do really, really like the presents. I love they gave them the house colors. I think that was fantastic. But my favorite is actually the uh, little miniature Hogwarts castle. I think that's so cute. Very cool. And do you want to tell our viewers what we found out about the windows? Yes. So we discovered that these were windows. They're right here. 
and they connect to the side of our fireplace. The little chocolate frog was actually jumping out the window, but I turned him around because I thought it made a better visual. But he is, you build him to look like he's jumping out of the window, which I think is really cool. Like when he jumped out of the window in the um, train car? Train car. Yep, exactly what he did. So this was so much fun. I love this. If you guys are looking for this, we did find this at Target. So definitely go and get this if you guys are Harry Potter fans and or Lego fans. If you guys like going to the Yule Ball with us at Hogwarts, please do give us a big thumbs up below. And again, guys, if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and click on the upside down robot or the red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to check us out on our Instagram. The links to the accounts are in the description. We do post photos of all the toys we open up, and there will be more photos of this stuff in much more detail. So definitely go check that out there. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notifications of upcoming videos. We do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.